Right, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can check the health of our solid state drive now solid state drives are very affordable nowadays the prices come right down and a lot of people are using them the only thing that you need to bear in mind is they're not the same as a mechanical drive they have no moving parts uh, but they still work in the same ways where when they die you lose your data so it's always good to keep an eye on the health of that drive so if you have got a solid state drive uh, and you want to test the health of that drive to make sure everything's working fine or maybe you've got problems with your computer and, and you want to rule out the the hard drive is an issue then you can test the hard drives health first now we're not testing for errors or anything like that we're just testing for, for the uh, drive itself and then you can run checks on errors for the drive as well at a later date but we'll just cover the health side of it first so first off if you've got a third party piece of software that you want to use you can use something like crystal disk info uh, it's been around a long time and it's a, a really decent bit of kit the only downfall side like all freeware nowadays is it comes with open candy on the installed version so if you are going to use crystal disk info make sure you use the uh, portable version which is without adverts okay now open candy he does list it all here on his website tells you exactly uh, what is um, candy and stuff like that which is very nice of the guy so take a look at his website and download the portable version which comes without ads uh, with ads is the installer so don't install uh, th this version here okay now if you ha are fortunate enough to have a piece of software from Intel or Samsung if you've bought one of their drives you can use their software and you can see it here you can download that and we'll take a look at the Samsung version because that's the version that I've got on my system now also there is tools that you can purchase like SSD life which are about 29 bucks uh, they work in the same way as all the other ones but why pay for something if you can get it for free that's my opinion on that anyway but we're going to take a look at crystal disk first we're just going to fire up Crystal Disk Info uh, first, and as you can see here, uh, this is Crystal Disk. What it's going to do is give us some information on that drive. Now, it's not actually showing the solid state drive here, it's showing my hybrid drive here, and it's giving me all the information here. Now, if your drive is still under warranty, then you can send this back uh, and get an RMA on it. Um, you can actually get the serial number it, as you can see here the hide serial number is this bit here you can take this part out and you can get the serial number send them all this information and if the drive is still under warranty and it's failed and let go before it's time they will refund your money or replace the drive you can see here health status on that drive is very good as you can see here we've got a, a good status here and also the uh, uh, the temperature of the drive is running at 32 celsius and also we've got some information here this is a smart information here and it gives us all the information these will come up uh, different colors it works in like a traffic light uh, yellow and, and and stuff like that and red so you will see blue here which is uh, obviously good so you can see here um, we we've got a good situation here where the drive is in good working order we've got the rotational rate which is your reps per minute the power on count which is how many times you've turned your computer on and power on hours is how long the computer has been on for now if I've, obviously if I wanted to change the disk I can do uh, to my solid state drive now you'd get some more information here as well this is for the solid state drive which is my C drive and you can see the temperature is 36 Celsius it's still good and the status is 100 percent as you can see here and you've got all your information here so this is how you can quickly check the health of your drive with uh, crystal disk info now this does as a work with uh, mechanical drives as you can work out hybrid drives and also solid state drives so you will get the smart reading from that so let's take a look at uh, the smart magician from samsung because that is the actual solid state drive that i've got so as you can see here smart magician will give us some information here we've got the same thing drop down menu here and also we can get the smart for uh, this drive here just the same as we could with um, uh, crystal disk info and it tells us the st uh, status on that drive is very good and everything is working fine we've got the serial number here which is grayed out for you I've blurred it out uh, but if you wanted to 
send this back you could you've got all your information here it tells us that it's genuine so I should imagine there's been some uh, sort of uh, uh, clones or copies out there that people have sold uh, so it's just letting you know that it's a genuine product you've also got the information here on how much space is being used and how much is uh, freely available on the C drive the drive health status is now good and also how many bytes have been written to that drive you can see here it tells you the capacity here you can do a performance test as well you can run a test on the drive just to show you some information of what the drive performs at sequential reads and writes and so on so it just lets you know the drive is in fully working order so we'll go down to the benchmark I'm not going to cover too much here because obviously it's going beyond the point of checking the health of the drive but you can see here you've got some other areas you can check uh, optimization you can start running a test on that firmware if you wanted to update the firmware also uh, OS optimization it, if when you first purchase your drive you can turn some of these areas off you can activate the prefetch and the super prefetch and, st and stuff like that virtual memory you can do all these settings just inside here it makes it very quick and easy to do and it also cuts down the amounts of reads and writes to that drive i.e. indexing and stuff like that if you want to deactivate you can do all that stuff inside here uh, maximum reliability maximum capacity and maximum performance you can do all that sort of stuff inside this area so as you can see it's got some good uh, tools here uh, also another part to it is the uh, secure race you can create a bootable USB flash drive or bootable CD or DVD if you are now going to wipe the drive and sell the drive on you can also do it here and this will give you a secure wipe of that drive if you are going to sell it on eBay or something like that I'd advise you to do that to make sure they can't get your data back it's just a, a little bit more peace of mind you've got the uh, rapid mode here I've not enabled this but you can enable this part here and go into that if you wish and also it gives you some data security tab here which gives you more information here on what you can do but we're not going to cover none of that in this video but basically that is how you can check the health of a solid state drive on your system to see whether your drive is uh, functional and whether it's working okay and whether you can then rule that part out if you've got issues with your computer whether it's software related or hardware related that's what you need to do when you're diagnosing issues okay so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope this uh, answers all your questions uh, if it does then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos if you haven't joined the forums yet then head over to the forums the information is on the screen you can post over there all your questions and uh, any problems you got with your computers and we'll do our best to help you out over there if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page you can also head over there and join up on my Facebook fan page as well it doesn't cost you a penny so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you again in the next video bye for now